have an ever-growing population who would fall into this setting where they would develop skin cancers and may need a more convenient and less damaging course of treatment. We devise something that holds a radiation source just above the skin, not touching the skin, and deliver a shorter number of treatments so it's more convenient uh, and is very effective. We call this surface brachytherapy. A common treatment scheme is to deliver 10 doses two to three times a week with surface brachytherapy compared to five days a week for five to six weeks with external beam. This is important for patients with limited mobility, such as patients that live in nursing homes. Uh, it's important for people who have busy lives or who need to travel a great distance. The face is a big area for us. Uh, the hands, wrists, and especially below the knees are also big areas where surgery is harder to do. This patient developed a skin cancer on the, the inner part of his left thumb. He was seen by a surgeon who said to him that if the tumor goes too deep, I may have to amputate the thumb. The patient wasn't happy with that possibility and asked, is there an alternative method of treatment? This is what we came up with. What we have here is a plastic cast covering his hand and his thumb is in this portion here. We have sewn a flap onto this plastic cast per se and we're able to feed in a radiation source one at a time through each of these catheters and deliver very focused superficial radiation to the thumb and not damage the bone or tendons underneath. He's doing quite well and it looks like the tumor has disappeared even by the end of the treatment. The next patient is somebody who comes to us from a nursing home and developed a skin cancer on the nose. We made a mask around his face. We sutured a flap onto the nose part and were able to deliver one radiation seed that goes into each of these catheters one at a time to deliver a very focused dose of radiation, limiting the dose to the eyes, limiting the dose to the underlying nose, and he had complete disappearance of tumor by the end of treatment. He did not have any nosebleeds, he had little redness in the eye, and he tolerated this treatment well. Uh, we're going to get rid of the skin cancer over 90% of the time measured five years down the road. We're also going to produce less side effects in the process. And so we like that for our patients. Mm -hmm.